So it turns out the back tire actually uh, blew last night. It had a slow leak, I think, either or. We gotta change it. And so I thought I would show the whole thing from beginning to end, since a lot of people get pretty frustrated and uh, just pause it <laughs> at the part where these become involved. <laughs> these, uh, these are motorcycle um, tire irons, so yeah. It takes a Allen key for the back tires, but it takes this 18 millimeter for the front. Just take these off. And then the wheel should just slide right off. And here comes the fun part. Go ahead and let the rest of the air out. get we don't want to do it on the uh, grab something to put beneath it so you don't uh, smash the brake I'll use the solid tire from before but we want to get one of these uh, irons in here and then space it apart just enough so you can get that lip over I could have probably spaced it more, but with this third one, it'll go ahead and bring it on over. And once you get so far, it just pops all the way. There we go. Just work your way around, leave that original one in there. If you take them out, you'll notice that it just goes back. And then... Sometimes you can just pull them. You gotta get that first one. So I'm gonna wanna face it down. And get it past that first lip. There we go, just like that. Push the first one in. Scoot, scoot the second one over once you get it in. Pry them both. I think I can just grab it now. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, the front, uh, the front hole on the front tire, rim, whatever. It actually is angled horribly, and you can't get it through there. Some people drill it out. Um, on my front one, I just left that tube in there, so I put a bunch of powder in here. I'm going to put some more, but that's supposed to keep it from uh, pinching and popping. What I did was, I don't know, like a dummy, I, I deflated it and I rode it to kind of like, on while deflated, to kind of like balance out the tube because it was kind of jiggling. But that messed up the stem. I got a backup though, so... You live and you learn. There we go. I think you can get two of these for 12 bucks on Amazon. But we're going to put some more baking soda. And I need to use a bag because this stuff gets everywhere. There we go.
and just rub that inside the tire. There you go. Just like that. And now we must put this tube in here. They say a trick is to um, back that light up. A trick is to put this back on once you get it through there, so you don't lose it or so it doesn't fall out. But here we go. Oh, and I am supposed to put it on. Oh, that might have been it also. So on this tube, it's kind of lopsided to the right and if I put this on it needs to be on that same side and I might have done that wrong there we go if that makes sense the holes closer to my my left hand and so that also needs to be closer to the left side of the which I think it's actually the right side going forward Okie dokie. So I'm going to just put this in here. And then put it in the tube first. We'll put this little nut thing on. And put this in the tube. First. Put the tube inside the tire first. There we go. I'm gonna get some slime. I, I I got this slime right here, but the, it didn't come with the tube. Oops. Make sure you always check uh, that the little insert is in there, <laughs> and the tire. Um, this deflates the tire. The end of this takes the stem out of the. But it's it's broken too, so I gotta take that back. You know what I mean. I'm no expert. I just work here. <laughs> All right. For the most part, that's as much as I can get in there. I think that's in hopes to not pinch it while putting it in. Okay, once you do that, I'm putting the stem down. I'm going to push into the tire as far as I can. Oh dang, that doesn't look beautiful at all. <laughs> you kind of just make it work and hope for the best. But what we're going to do is get this lip over. I'm just trying not to push them in too far and pinch anything. All right. I think I'm going to come up from this side and try and see.
Hey, I got somewhere. Hope I'm not breaking anything. See right there? The tube. I don't know. I don't know. Get out of there. Don't break anything. Alright, I got past the wall, but that seems bunched up. See right there? It's kind of bunched up in there. And that's why I was trying to get it to move around. I'm just wiggling it around, make sure it's it's all seated. Been doing this for 12 minutes now. <laughs> well, Archer, having you uh, be five years old now. Um, it's, I think it's important I start making some videos for you and uh, changing the tire on your scooter is a good step to learn. It's a good skill to learn. Um, so I have it in there. I gotta stop pushing on that. It seems like the the tube wants to there you go. So I'm going to push push this forward to pull the tube back inside and then release that so it can go up against the metal and not squish the tube underneath it. It's all about engineering, I guess. Okay. So let's put a little air in this and see what happens. Doing this all in one take. There we go. I'm going to go up to like five and see. So we got this screwed in here. I'm going to press down. 23. Let's go to 10. Let's go to 10. Oops. Hit the wrong button. There we go. Eight. What I'm doing is I'm simulating it in um, in real life, like how it will probably move it around and pinch or pull, and also so I can like make sure at a lower pressure it'll move around. At least that's in, what I'm doing in theory. So at a lower pressure, at 15, I'm I'm letting it like I probably should have done it at five, but I'm kind of letting it situate itself and now we're gonna go up to check the bead it's all smooth and now we're gonna go up to uh, 35 so I did it to 10 oh, that's a, oh. that was on the basketball setting all right now we're gonna go up to 35 
Da-da. And maybe 35.5 so I can take it off. Yeah, it was at 34. Now it's reading 39. 38. That's not right. Maybe I overfilled it. 37. 35.5. Man, that goes down fast. That should be a life lesson or a lesson in life that you can't check the pressure of a tire without reducing it, the pressure inside it, without letting some leak out. And you also can't observe something, the physicists say, without affecting it as well. At least that's what I've been told. I wouldn't know. And I got this powder everywhere. <laughs> Oops. All right, so let's put this on real quick and see what happens. Hmm, what do you think? Line the brake up. And these these have uh, flat flat ends on each side, so it only goes in a certain way. So you might have to spin the. in the inside a little all right I always forget to put my caps back on is it, is this even on the camera? it rode pretty good last night being on 10 inch tires instead of um, 8.5 Can't believe these little bolts are what hold me up hold this all together hold me up I'm going to need to get some new pads for my brake uh, calibers. They must be really tiny. <laughs> I carry them around in my back pocket. Some spares. My dad did tell me that I shouldn't get a vehicle because it's too expensive to just get something electric. So... I just changed all the tires on my vehicle for under $30. I guess that's pretty good. It only has two lug nuts. There we go. Oh, looks like it's missing a... There's some washers that aren't on there. Oops. Oh, washer somewhere. All right, there we go. Let's see if I can get a shot of it riding down here. This works. Yep. Looks good. It's all done. It's the skinniest tire that's on the market, but It does give me some ground clearance. Let me see.
Got a post from a thumbnail. Hashtag scooter life. <laughs> oh yeah, we got some 10 inch tires on this little tiny. This is actually the the baby of the bunch. It's the M365 original. Um, you can get it right now for $400 on Amazon. Brand new. Used probably like 200 250 But I put some motorcycle handlebars on it with uh, grip and there's a Rita adapter in here so I can attach any battery it's like 36 to 80 volts um, maybe 60 but besides that now I just need to get a mount for the battery so it's more solid all right well I'm gonna go get some breakfast and you just witnessed the upgrade or repair of the back tire inner tube stuff man I'm hungry all right well Archie if you ever see these just know that your life is very very meaningful you can do anything you want that you put your mind to your heart's desires the only thing is is that it never works out as long as you're kind and honest and considerate of others I've learned that the hard way so love yourself take care of those that matter and never give up and you too can have an electric scooter with 10 inch tires <laughs> adios amigos Catch you on the flip side, little skater.